year as the war, World War II, continued. It seemed like America's pastime had passed its time. But each year, somebody in government would restore the clock. In late December 1944, James Burns, the director of war mobilization, made an announcement that stopped the sports world in their tracks. Mr. Samikos, you've done an amazing job, and I appreciate your, your coming to this event because you know very passionate about more than just baseball, but about the people and the community. No matter the drama, however, nothing can stop them, keep the bucks away from their destiny. Not even an error in the scorekeeping. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited to be here tonight to welcome this gentleman to the stage, legend of Cleveland, Mr. Leon Bibb. You know how I love batting practice? There's something special about batting practice when you hear that thwack. I even had a chance to work at the stadium because I sold peanuts and popcorn and hot dogs and Coca-Cola in the stands. I was a 15-year-old awesome kid. Well, today, Dr. Moore came with us to East Cleveland to a school where he did a presentation for third to fifth grade. It was amazing. It was also um, a little bit disturbing because the kids didn't know anything about baseball. And, and I think that uh, Dr. Moore and, and I really, and Ricardo said, we really need to do more to try to get the word out to the communities. So everybody here, I feel now are on the team as we start to raise money and do more for the neighborhoods. But I love this game of baseball. I love what the Baseball Heritage Museum is all about.